Good morning from Brazil. I'm currently waiting for my Uber to take me to the border with Paraguay. Today we are heading to a new country and leaving Brazil behind. I've got all of my stuff ready, had some breakfast and we're gonna do a walk across a bridge to cross a country or like cross a border into a new country which should be interesting. Uh, there should be a buses going but it's kind of a hassle so I've decided to take an Uber for three bucks. I'm getting lazy and way not way less strict with the budget but let's go Welcome to Paraguay. It is so extremely hot. I asked the guy at reception if this is normal. Like, I am sweating so much. I'm sorry, this is not a look. But he's like, even for me, it's hot. Which I guess is saying something. Oh, it's so hot. And I had to walk for about half an hour with all of my stuff. But I did get stamped out of Brazil and into Paraguay. Now, technically, I didn't have to get stamped into Paraguay because I'm only staying in a border town. But to cover my bases, because I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to enter Argentina tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going through Brazil and then Argentina or straight to Argentina. And if you're more than, I, I'm not sure, but like I said, more than 35 kilometers from the border, you have to get stamped in. So I figured, you know, cover all my bases. I'm going to get stamped into the country. It's free. It takes like, it took genuinely like three minutes. He was like, oh, you know, where are you from? And I was like, oh, there. And he's like, oh, did you just come from Argentina or Brazil? Yeah, Brazil. And oh, where are you going? I said here, maybe somewhere else. I mentioned uh, another town that I initially, let me sit back up, that I initially wanted to go to, but I didn't go to. I knew that if I mentioned that town that I would get stamped into the country because it's farther away. Uh, and then he just stamped, the country, uh, stamped my passport and I was into the country. It is very chaotic. Now, one of the reasons that it's chaotic is because they're building something on the Brazilian side of the border. So instead of like three or four lanes open, there's only one lane. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of traffic. But it kind of like, there's also a lot of street vendors. The taxes here are really, really low, which is why the people from Brazil and Argentina come here to do their shopping. But it kind of makes me feel like I'm back in Asia. Like traffic is chaotic. I could hear honking, a lot of street vendors, a lot of people on the streets all the time. I like it, it's fun. But I'm gonna get settled and then figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've been sitting here for about an hour and a half, honestly cooling down. It's boiling hot in this room. There is an AC that doesn't work and there is a ceiling fan. I've got the ceiling fan on on the highest uh, possible setting. I think it's I think it's number eight. And uh, let me let me show you. This is what we're working with. <laughs> it's fine. But like, it's not like it's giving me any cool air now. I just washed my t-shirt, uh, like hand washed it quickly because I am obviously gonna wash it at some point, but I don't want it that dirty in my backpack because then everything else is gonna like smell. So I figured I'd just give it a quick rinse with by hand and then put it in the backpack. But it needs to dry and I thought, oh, you know, I'll just put on the ceiling van and tonight when I've got the AC on, I'll just leave it here. AC doesn't work, maybe tonight, so I'm gonna ask that later at reception. But the ceiling fan, I thought, you know, if it spins fast enough, I don't need an AC. Like, I'd rather not turn on the AC if this works. This doesn't work. So I'm hoping my t-shirt will dry. If not, then I'm wearing a slightly smelly wet t-shirt tomorrow, potentially. 
for now. I'm gonna find a supermarket, I think come back here, use the Wi-Fi to get an Uber to Monday Falls, which is why I came here in the first place. And I've just decided to spend the night here as opposed to back in Brazil because I thought it would be nice to spend a night here in Paraguay. And a lot of people come here to go shopping because the taxes are low, so it's quite busy. So I'm curious to see what the price difference is. And like I said, order an Uber to Monday Falls, see the falls. I asked the guy at reception, how do I get back? Because I don't have any data. He's like, oh, just ask like where you buy the ticket, like the information, whatever at the falls. And they will either hotspot you or give you a Wi-Fi password or like, it, it'll be all right. Um, so I'm going to trust him. And I think like a lot of people here are very friendly and helpful. So I think if I really get into trouble, I'm sure that somebody is able to help me. I think that most people go to Iguazu Falls, which is what I've done. I've done the Brazilian side. I'm gonna do the Argentinian side later. I think it would be so, so cool to not only do those, but like, I think from the photos online, Monday Falls looks really, really cool. And I'm curious to see if it is, I think it's overshadowed by Iguazu Falls, but I think it's still worth going. So yeah, let's go. So I've made it to Monday Falls and I've just made the entrance fee. I was told that I could pay by uh, car, but apparently you can't. Uh, it is 90, you can pay in Brazilian money. It's 90, which is about just under 20 euros. That was supposed to be 16. So, I mean, it's different money. So obviously they're gonna charge a bit more like worse exchange rate, it's fine. The only problem is <laughs> I needed cash for tomorrow and for like the bus and I don't think I have enough. Plus I need to eat and drink. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I might have to find an exchange of it. See if they're willing to like exchange maybe 10 uh, euros. But then I have uh, Paraguayan money, whatever it's called. And I don't really need that. But I do know for a fact that my hostel has free breakfast. They do have like a sort of like a fridge where you can buy uh, drinks from. And they've got a restaurant included. So I might go online and see how much that is. I think I'm going the right way. And I guess just, I don't want to eat there. Like I've got enough food to eat like a chill, not too heavy on the stomach meal for tonight. So stupid. Right now I've got exactly 12 Brazilian money left, which is not enough. I think the bus to Argentina should be 10, so that's good. And then I'm gonna take an Uber, I think, from the border to the bus terminal, because otherwise I don't know how to get there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You want to know the craziest part? There's nobody here, like nobody behind me. Nobody. I've got this all for myself. I've got the view all to myself. Absolutely insane. It 
is so, so worth the money. And the fact that I've got it all to myself is absolutely beautiful. I love it. This was 16 euros, Iguazu Falls was 20. I think this is very, very overpriced. I'm happy that I did it, but it's 16 is way too much. Is it nice? Yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. But so is Iguazu Falls. They, Iguazu has a lot more waterfalls. The trail is longer, there's more to see. But the only calm with Iguazu Falls is the people. And I know like I'm one of them, but there are so, so many people. Now I just left the viewpoint. I'm going uphill by the way, which is why I'm out of breath. But I, when I left the viewpoint, a group of, I think about six men and one other couple came. So I had it pretty much all to myself. There were other people when I left, but it's fine. It's, I think it's pretty perfect. And I think there are more spots like this all along the river because this is the same river I think now I'm wondering if it is but I think it is so I mean for the four euro difference I don't think you can miss Iguazu Falls I would say go there despite the people but if you have a little bit money left over come here as well so I think right now Iguazu Brazil is on number one Monday Falls at number two Let's see what my ranking will be once I've been to the Argentinian side of Iguazu Falls. Right now, my plan is to go back to the entrance and I'm gonna ask if they have Wi-Fi. Maybe they have free Wi-Fi because I need to order an Uber. Then I'm gonna go back to the hotel and do pretty much nothing, just chill for a bit. exciting day or at least I think it's very exciting because I'm going to be going to three different countries all in one day. 